Well, hey, y'all. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on what's been going on at the ranch for the last couple of weeks. Uh, on May 2nd, we brought home that uh, full-blood South Pole cow. And in the meantime here, I've been working on trying to arrange what I needed to do to, to get her bred. Uh, and I've been working with under the assumption that what I'm going to do is uh, uh, do artificial insemination on her. Uh, I don't have the the means to purchase a, a South Pole bull and uh, uh, figure that uh, that going with uh, with AI long as it works for me uh, is going to be the, the the least expensive way to get the top quality genetics that I can uh, out of uh, this cow. The other thing that's a possibility using AI is to uh, work with somebody who has uh, done some processing of the the semen to to have a preference for uh, for heifers, which is what I'm interested in doing right now with this cow. My intention is to to get a, uh, hopefully two or three heifers out of her while she still has some some breeding years left in her. She is she is an older cow. She's 14 years old right now, uh, which is not necessarily at the very end of her career, but uh, it's closer to the end than the beginning. In any event, what I've been doing here is trying to line up somebody to do this artificial insemination and then uh, getting a hold of the materials that I need uh, to, uh, to do this. Uh, the, the gentleman who, uh, who's doing the, uh, the AI uh, is an AI tech who actually is an AI instructor over in Stephenville, Texas. Uh, he had me uh, get with my veterinarian and uh, pick up a, uh, a cedar, which is a controlled uh, intravaginal drug drug release device. That's what cedar stands for, uh, and it is a uh, uh, device that, as the description uh, says, it, it goes into the into the vagina of the cow and releases uh, progesterone uh, for the amount of time that it's in there. The, uh, the protocol that we're going to be following is to have that uh, device in the cow for a week uh, and then we also gave her a, a dose of uh, GnRH uh, which, is a, uh, which is a hormone and then after a week we're going to be giving her a shot of Lutalice and then doing the, um, the AI uh, 66 hours after that second shot. So that's the process, and uh, so I'm going to be having uh, this video and one more video that I'll put out probably in a, in a couple weeks uh, after we have completed the AI process, which will include the, the second and third stage, which is giving her the injection and then doing the, uh, uh, the, the AI after we watch her for, uh, for her going into heat. So. That's the process, and I uh, hope you'll enjoy this, and I hope it's, uh, it's useful for you, or at least entertaining. Okay, Thanks. So today we're going to start a, uh, a new adventure. What you see in front of you is um, a uh, cedar, C-I-D-R, and... Uh, and two doses of some medication that the cow needs to receive uh, over the course of the next week. Uh, the cedar goes in today along with the, the dose from that smaller syringe which is uh, GnRH. Uh, the other one is uh, Lutalase that she receives in a week and then 60 to 66 hours after that she gets inseminated uh, and we've got some some good quality semen uh, from uh, from Dave Roberts at uh, at Bent Tree Farm uh, from a bull that uh, that Dave thought was good enough to uh, to want to get special semen from him that uh, is concentrated to uh, produce a greater percentage of heifers it's called a heifer plus uh, semen so. Um, New adventure for me. Uh, we've got this uh, this brand new cow on the ranch, and she needs to get bred. So that starts today.
So tonight the first step is to put in this cedar and a shot of GNRH. Yes, sir. After a little bit of excitement, she's in the, the chute here. When we do this part, we wipe the mold to be clean. Mm -hmm. Do you mind handing me the bottle of lube? Yep. Squirt <laughs> on there. Perfect. That's all there is to it. That's that. Okay. And then we'll give her a shot. And you said it was the... It's the smaller one. Oh. Yep. Yeah, the larger one's the little lace. And this is given I am... I'm going to go walk around here so I can get her in it. Okay. Okay. All right. Stage one done, huh? Yep. Now she's in. You can let her out. All right. That'll make you feel a lot better, won't it, girl? Hey, come on. Thank you. No problem. <laughs>